Welcome to Culinary Alchemy. Today I'm going to be demoing how to make a chocolate chip banana loaf cake. First position your oven rack in the middle of your oven and preheat it to 350 degrees. Then find yourself a 9 by 5 inch loaf pan. Lightly coat it with cooking spray and line the bottom with a piece of parchment paper. Set it aside while you prepare your ingredients. Here we have 1 and 3 quarters cups plus 2 tablespoons of all-purpose flour sifted together with one quarter cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, one and a quarter teaspoons of baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt onto a piece of wax paper. Then take one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips and toss it with one and a half teaspoons of the sifted mixture. In the bowl of a freestanding mixer fitted with the paddle attachment, beat four ounces of softened unsalted butter on medium speed for two minutes. Now add one cup of granulated sugar and continue to beat on medium speed for another two minutes. Add two eggs one at a time, blending them well after each addition. Next, blend in one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. Once the vanilla is blended, scrape down the sides of the bowl and then mix once again to get a smooth, even texture. Now that the butter-sugar mixture is a smooth, even texture, Blend in one and a third cups of mashed ripe bananas. The bananas might look a bit curdled after it's blended, but that's okay because it'll smooth out once the flour is added. On low speed, add your sifted dry ingredients and mix them just until the flour is combined with the butter mixture. When your flour mixture is just combined, you want to stir in your chocolate chips. When the chips are stirred in, pour your batter into your loaf pan and spread it so that it mounds slightly in the center. Now that your batter is spread in your loaf pan, you want to bake it in your oven for about an hour until it is risen and a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. If for any reason during the baking process the loaf gets too dark, you can cover it loosely with a piece of aluminum foil. Once your loaf is baked, remove it from the oven, place it on a cooling rack for approximately five minutes. Then flip it out onto the cooling rack to cool completely. What's better than a slice of chocolate banana bread for a snack or with a cup of coffee?